are such a high energy pocket in front of you. There are four clearly marked exits. An exit on the left hand end side and one front at row one. And that's exit on the right at row two. Two exits all the way to the back of the cabin, one on each side. Each exit is clearly marked with red and white signs. You check now for the exit closest to you and take note of the two strips of lighting along the aisle floor. In the darkened cabin, they're going to mark the aisles that will lead you to all four exits. To operate your seatbelt, you inserted that metal clip into the buckle so you heard a click. Pull on the strap to lengthen or to tighten to release the up on the upper portion of the buckle and pull the belt free. For your safety, it's Horizoners policy that you keep those seatbelts securely fastened at all times while seated, just in case we experience any unexpected turbulence. The Federal Aviation Regulations do require all passengers to comply with crew member instructions, all lighted no smoking, and seatbelt signs on all exclusive placards. Due to federal law, smoking is not permitted on the aircraft cabin or laboratory for the duration of the flight. Also due to federal law, tampering with disabling, destroying, or even looking at the smoke detector in our one and only super deluxe, extremely spacious laboratory is not permitted. Ladies and gentlemen, we just have one laboratory. May showing you the only one we have on board today. All the way up front on the right as you approach, and at no time does it move to the back of the cabin. <laughs> and the rumor is true, your super comfy seat cushion can also be used as a flotation device. In the unlikely event, our flight is <coughs> a cruise. You simply lift up and away from the seat frame, put your arms in the straps on the other side of the cushion, and rest your upper body on the cushion. If you are traveling with infants today, the instructions for the use of infant life vests can be found on that same safety information card.